Ooh, good day for it. Another beautiful day in paradise. Perfect day to go pick up a shifter car. Oh man, I love New York. Love to see that. All right, so I'm off to pick up a roller shifter car. I've been looking for one of these for a while now. I was gonna pull the trigger on two brand new ones, but I figure I'll start out with a used one. I'll get the feedback from you guys if you want me to build a second one all done up, brand new, like a mod electric shifter car. On my way, two hours away to pick this thing up, start the build on this thing. So I'm pumped. This thing's gonna be sick once it's all done. Couldn't have picked a better day for it. 27 degrees, the snow is flying, we're getting a storm. Oh, we made it. We're in the middle of nowhere down this dirt road now. How's it going? Good. Mind if I film a little bit? Doing like a build, uh, yeah. build series to build this thing. So give me the, give me the rundown on this thing. What's the well, deal? You're, you're making an electric, so you know more than <laughs> I do. <laughs> Not really. I'm just uh, kind of winging it here. I got to figure it out. It's all going to be. Do you, it's all do you gonna know be custom. The yeah, I don't. Yeah, <laughs> gas gas cans coming off. I don't know. There's not too much to it. I mean, custom here, bracket with that. This is the motor. I just bought that one brand new. This okay. is what came with it, but I use different motor mounts. Okay. So this is your motor mount. Of course, okay. I don't know how that's gonna work. I don't either. Electric either but hey, that goes on here. I'm sure I'm gonna have to make some custom mount because it's probably yeah. it's gonna take up this whole space. What the way? Okay, so. Pick that maybe up, 50 to 75. Yeah, I mean, it sounds like, Take it, it, as it, goes, sounds like so. a fun project. I'll never use That's it. Sick. These are Thank brand you. new. You got quite the trophies, too. Looks like you race for a yeah, I'm just, quite the no, trophies, just man. An amateur years racer. and years. Been doing it. My first motocross race was 1973. So you've been riding for a while. <laughs> a little longer than me, that's for sure. Here's this. Thank you. I expected it to be a lot heavier, to be honest with you. Yeah, they're... That's what I'm thinking right now. It's not gonna go anywhere. Keep it under 90 on the way home. <laughs> I'll try to. It should be good. All right, thank you. Yes, I appreciate thank you. it. Hey, I will. Uh, like you said, you get that thing running. <laughs> I'll send you videos yeah, maybe and stuff. You send me a message. Or... Cool. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Yeah. You have a good one. It's basically just resting on my tailgates, like sliding back and forth. Figured I should grab a torque strap and strap this thing down. If you haven't seen torque strap yet, I'll leave a link below. The best tie downs they use right now. Locked in. Should be good for this two hour ride home. It's probably the worst possible day. I could have went to pick this thing up. The throughways have snow covering it. The plows can't plow it. Just another day in the life, I guess. Made it. We're back two hours later. All right, so finally, I got a package in from Electro & Co. As you can tell, we got the shifter cart ready to go to start on this build. I'm pumped to finally start on this thing. So we got a full box of parts from, like I said, Electro & Co. Same company that builds those Razor 72-volt pit bike kits. I have a full box of parts to go through here. I have a new 428 sprocket, the stock sprocket, super small, and the chain definitely would have snapped. The motor setup that we're using, so upgrade to a 428. All the electronics, the electronic throttle, on off, all the wire harness to make this thing work. We have this big beefy controller, already has plugs on there so I can use my Chai battery, 72 volt battery to run with this. So I can go back and forth to 72 and the 60 volt max. So this thing's definitely gonna push out a lot of power. Then over here we got the motor setup. This is the kit that Electro Co sells. A 70 horsepower, a 90 horsepower, pretty much almost a 100 horsepower motor kits. You have everything linked below in the description if you're trying to do a similar shifter cart build, electric dirt bike build, anything like that. This is the perfect setup to do it. Mounting in the way I'm gonna do it is tricky. I have two different options. This would be, I bought this whole saw, the steel whole saw kit that I was gonna cut. I have an eight by eight steel plate that I was gonna drill a hole into and actually go over the top of the motor, then use these bolt points. But I've since changed my mind. I'm gonna use the included kind of setup that was on here to mount it into a bike. I'm just gonna mount it directly onto a plate and then use the factory uh, motor mount plate so I can move it front and back to uh, adjust the tensions. I'm trying to keep it as if it had the normal motor in there, but with the electric setup, that way everything kind of goes on smoothly. So that's the plan right now. I already have some measurements done up and I have to cut this thing out. And in a couple days, we'll have this thing finished up. It's been months in the process. I had this thing for like three months now. Finally now I've got everything together to do it and I couldn't be more excited. A ton of cool videos playing with this. So if you're new, subscribe so you don't miss out on a future video. So let's get after it and start building this thing.
behavior root plates the current day you. Now that's just your label. Everything is surrendering of your point of view and that's what prejudice to So the world is obtained just here and now. These beliefs are fake and foul. Act like you know better is what only makes it harder. We believe that what we stand for actually does matter. It's no longer the 1900s when our voice was always silenced. In modern times, we are the only true freedom fighters. All right, so quickly cutting into the electric shifter cart build, I wanna thank Mouse Cases for making this video possible. So if you haven't heard of the Mouse Case, this is an indestructible case for your phone, along with it having this really cool mounting system on the back of the case, which allows you to use their accessories. I already have it on my Suron over here with the bar mount. It can pretty much fit to any handlebar. So with all the Mouse Case accessories, they have this locking grid system, which is on the back of the case. It actually uses the MagSafe, which is the ring right here, and on the back of your iPhone clips right into place, locks in, and then your phone's not going anywhere. Once you wanna grab your phone, push these buttons in, releases the phone. I've been ripping around all day with this phone now and had no issues with my phone staying connected. From cruising on the road, hitting jumps, riding in the trails, this mount is perfect. You'll never have to worry about your phone falling off or getting damaged. Personally, would recommend the Evolution Cycle Package, which comes with the case and this mount that I have on the Suron. I have this direct stem mount. You wanna have it permanently mounted on the center of your bike. Use this on the Suron, the Supermoto, the dirt bikes. It's two seconds to pop off, just unscrew screw it quick and the mount just pulls right off. It just flexes over the handlebars, super easy. So from charging to mounting, the mouse case has you covered. From the phone mount, the protection is really good. You're not gonna have to worry about dropping your phone on the ground. You're good to go. And the case I'm using is the interlock case. I'll leave it linked below in the description. In this case, I believe right now is 70% off. So this is the best time to pick yourself up a new case to protect your phone. Once again, thank you to Mouse for sponsoring this video and making this e-cart build possible. I'll jump back into finishing this thing up. All right, this thing's all plugged in. It's kind of torn apart right now. I fried the connection had to resolder some new ones on there. The voltage meter right there. But of course, what would be a build without some issues? I want to go pull the throttle. Everything's good to go, it moves. But the motor is going in reverse. So this motor setup is actually for a dirt bike. In the orientation that it was in a dirt bike, it would be flipped this way and it would be going forward. I texted Austin over at Electro & Co. And he's gonna have to send me a USB to retune this thing. I'm so bummed right now. I'm so hyped up to try this out. This thing's gonna be sweet. New gearing coming. We're gonna try and see what the top speed is. I think this setup right now will be around 65, 70. And with the high speed gearing, I think we can get it over 100 miles an hour. If you're excited to see those future videos, throw a like in the video. Subscribe if you're new. You guys let me know right now. Should I pick up another shifter cart and do a second e-cart build? Should I pick up like a 125 two-stroke one and race it against the electric cart? Electro Co is down to do some other electric builds. Give me some ideas on some other vehicles I should make electric. I've done the bike builds for so long, but I want to build some cool different stuff because I know we can build some cool stuff that nobody's ever seen All before. Right. Finally, months later, we have the e-cart finished up. This thing came out so sick. I'm so excited to try it out right now. We've got the 72 volt Chi Battery Systems battery for my Suron in here. That's why I think I'm still gonna call it a Suron cart, even though the motor is a little bit bigger than what would come in a Suron. Comp cart, Suron cart is finally finished and ready to try out. I got a new screen mounted up. I decided to, uh, this is the on off switch and then I have three different power modes right here. As you guys saw, I decided to utilize the fuel tank. I can't put the cat back on there, but at least I can fish some of these wires through to kind of make it look a little bit cleaner. Cut everything out so the controller's underneath to make it look as OEM as possible. Couldn't be more happy with it. Right now with the gearing setup, I think this is like a conservative kind of mid-range power. This is a 57.2, so I'm gonna order up a few more sprockets, lower and higher. We're gonna see what we can push this motor to and see how fast we can get it to go to get it in that sweet spot for torque and top speed. You guys are learning with me. I wish I had a better way of holding the battery down than a bungee cord, but it'll be fine for the time being, but I wanna figure out some better way to lock it in place. Okay, all right, should be good to go. All right, boom, that thing is clean. So this is just gonna be a little teaser. You guys are gonna have to come back next video to see me really test it and get this thing to over 100 miles an hour. Oh, this thing's tight. All right, brakes work. It is porky. I've got it in the lowest power setting, gear one, and we're gonna see what this thing can do. 
so low, it just scrapes. in the medium power now and see what that can do. <laughs> Torque is insane. It kind of tapers off mid, but getting there is... <laughs> All right, and there's a little teaser for you guys. You're gonna have to come back next video to see it in the max power. And once we get all the different gear setups and we're gonna get this thing to over 100 miles an hour and really see what it can do. So I'm excited. But all I know is I'm gonna have to get new tires ordered today because these things are gonna go quick. Perfect timing, just started to rain. Like I said, if you guys are new, subscribe, throw a like in this video if you wanna see more future videos with the e-cart. I am so excited that this thing actually came together. It's a little bit of tweaking with the settings, but you'll see that in the next video of me actually ripping this thing, seeing what it can do.